Welcome to another four minute Friday. Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to go from this to this, really simple. As you can see, this first one is quite an ugly shirt. It looks like the image has just been slapped on the shirt. And I feel like only really big companies like Supreme can get away with those kind of designs. And the majority of people, especially when it's on print on demand t-shirts, where the t-shirt quality isn't that good, it's very hard to get away with just a normal picture slapped onto a t-shirt. Anyway, this is meant to be a four minute Friday episode and I still have not yet made an intro. So seeing as I saved you those five seconds, please smash that like button because well, it does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get straight into the four minute Friday episode. Firstly, we need to have a picture that we can add this effect to. I'm going to be adding it to this picture you can see over here. It's a picture of the Monaco Grand Prix. And I know, I know this is copyright. I'm probably not allowed to do this picture, but this is just for the video. I'm not planning on selling this t-shirt or hoodie or whatever, this design. Just It's just for illustration purposes of this video. So here's the picture. Well, then we need to search Google for grunge border background or grunge border PNG. So grunge border PNG, let's search. Go over to images, okay, very simple, and look at all these grunge borders we have. We're working with so many different things, and all we need to do is pick one. So, all we need to scroll down, let's pick this one. And once we picked it, we need to right click and click save image as, and then we can save it to our desktop or to downloads. I'm gonna save it to downloads folder, just because it's easier. Click save. The next thing we have to do is open our original image in Adobe Photoshop just like this, right? And that's what we're gonna, this is what it's gonna look like. And this tutorial is for Photoshop. However, it can be done with other platforms, but for this video, I'm just using Photoshop. Now what we want to do is we want to get the grunge PNG file and drag it on. So let's go and do that. Right, you can see I've now dragged on my grunge PNG file. All I need to do is size it up. So I'm gonna have to rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, now that I've done that, I need to size it up, so. Let's do this. Okay. This is what the image looks like right now. The next thing we need to do is unlock this layer. So just click this little padlock that unlocks that layer. That means we can start editing and doing stuff to that layer. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go and select the magic wand tool, which is this thing over here, magic wand tool. Now you wanna click on the black. So make sure the layer is selected. Can you see that little sign there? Make sure it's rasterized. So go over, click rasterize layer. Again, means we can edit it. And now let's select the black. And that selects that entire layer. Alternatively, you can hold down command or probably control on your uh, PC and click the layer image and it will select it perfectly. So now you can see I've got a selection over here. Well, what's next? Well, we want to hide the grunge layer and you can see the selection stays. We want to select our Monaco picture layer and a very simple backspace and it's gone. Nice, right? Now we need to fix the excess um, at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple rectangular marquee tool. We're going to select the whole top and we're going to go back to a backspace. Gone. And that is what the image looks like. If you want to make it even more grunge, you can rotate the grunge layer, select it again, delete again, and that will add more of the cuts and the whatever. But let's quickly add a background just so you can see what this looks like with a nice black background so it's very obvious. Looks pretty good, right? And this on a t-shirt will look so much better than a slapped on image because this allows it to blend into the t-shirt, right? Blend it into the, it looks like it's like blended into the fabric kind of, rather than it's just a picture on your chest. Was that four minutes? I feel like it very much was not four minutes, but it was still a good video, good tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any other kind of tutorials like this. I love making quick tutorials just to, just to show you one, you know, design trick or design hack that can really elevate your, your level of design, especially with this, because I see with are your designs any good? So many people, right, are sending me designs where it's just a picture slapped onto the design and it never looks good. Whereas doing something like this, I'm not necessarily saying this grunge effect, but doing something with, you know, cutting away the, 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 the sharp edges makes the image look so much better on the t-shirt. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to uh, like the video. And again, leave a comment down below if there's anything, any quick videos you want me to make, quick tutorials for 4 Minute Fridays. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.